Welcome to the Fun with Friends podcast, hosted by me, Allie, featuring my friends. What is up, everyone? Welcome to the Fun with Friends podcast. I'm your host, Allie. I am joined this week by my friends, Julie and Portia. Hello. Hello. Thank you both for being here. Uh, their voices should sound slightly familiar to you. Portia has been on our, well, both of you were on the uh, travel episode about Scotland. And Julie, yeah. I actually have a prize for you. What? Because you are the the MVG, most valuable guest. Whoa. Because you have officially been on the podcast more than anyone else. Yes. With three episodes under your belt. So you've been on the uh, the travel podcast mm-hmm. or the travel episode, this episode on dance, and then you were also on the tattoo episode. Yes, so. I remember. I think the tattoo episode was my favorite mainly because we were drinking a lot of prosecco. Yes. Yes. We went through a few bottles, I believe. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe more than a, a few. Yes. What are we drinking tonight? We are drinking some lovely rosé, some sparkling rosé. So. Um, Nice yeah. rosé spritzer. Aromas of pomegranate and raspberry. That's it's right. quite delicious. Only, only the finest for this podcast. Paired quite quite nicely with our pizza. That's right. <laughs> so your prize, uh, I've got four stickers here. Oh wow, she really has a prize. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I thought it was metaphorical. <laughs> you get you get to pick two of them. Ooh. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Let's see Any what we got. Any two stickers. Oh, my goodness. Yes, please tell the listeners what the stickers are. All right, so we've got of. these. I'm not going to lie. These are some pretty kick-ass stickers. We've got an old floppy disk sticker that says, Save Me, on it. We've got a rain cloud with that's raining hearts that says, Enjoy the rain. <laughs> we've got one that uh, has a picture of a donut on it, and it says, Do not disturb. <laughs> I love, I love classic, a good pun, classic. right? And then we've got like the love um, statue, uh, popular in Philly, where the O is a donut. So definitely taking that one as I lived in Philly for a number of years. And um, I think I'm also going to take the floppy disk that says save me. Nice. <laughs> and then yes. Portia, you get your pick of a sticker from the remaining two. Oh, look at you. For- I think I'm going to have to enjoy the rain. It's a good pick. It's one of my favorites. There we go. Thank you, Allie. I will take the do- donut disturb. Uh, I can't even say it. Donut disturb. <laughs> <laughs> with me. Congratulations, Julie, on your reigning uh, championship. Oh. We will see who rises to the top after. That's right. That's right. As I, we continue, I might have to fight out anybody. Everyone that, else that is tries tied at two. <laughs> Everyone else is tied at two except for Holly. She's only been in one, which was the first one. She should get a prize just for doing yeah, the first the one. First, I'm, I'm also starting to think we're going to have to start getting you more friends. I know, because we're just recycling through the three of It's going to be like, Allie has fun with friend. <laughs> <laughs> friend and acquaintance of friend. <laughs> a- Allie and friend. Really? Do things. Yeah. <laughs> it's really my inability to say no to new adventures, really, has, I mean, what has landed me you know, with this dubious honor. I've honestly thought about just making y'all co-hosts, and then it could just be our podcast, uh, because we're almost to that point. I mean, she's talking me into getting a tattoo so she can do a follow-up episode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I need to do a follow-up episode. Tara, Tara and I are probably going to go. Mark your body, please. <laughs> Tara and I are probably going to go to a dance class, so that'll be a follow-up episode as well. Oh, that's going to be hilarious. <laughs> so I think you we know, discovered a new love in our lives, and that I, was I think the so point too. of this podcast. Exactly. Was it not? That's right. Find things that make us happy. Which, mm-hmm. speaking of, uh, in this week's episode. The three of us will be talking about our experience trying a modern dance class as Portia does uh, uh, some modern dance moves in the background. And we will jump into that when we get back from this little break. (laughs) 
Portia, Julie, and I decided to try a dance class. And originally we were looking for a salsa class or kind of something in that family of dance, which it was surprisingly difficult to find, at least for me, just looking around for salsa classes that didn't require you to buy like a membership or like $300 for 10 classes or something like that. Like it was a little difficult to find um, a salsa class. So, we ended up taking a modern dance class instead, and we took it at The Dance Place, which is located in DC. So I'll provide a little bit of info about The Dance Place, and then we will talk about our experience there. And of course, as always, I will include um, their information in the description, so their social media and their website, so you can find that again in the description of the episode. The Dance Place was uh, founded in 1980 and is a community of artists and students. They have a dance performing series that highlights artists in various dance genres. They have a dance school with classes, which is what we did. So they offer um, classes that include uh, modern dance, African dance, hip hop, Cuban, and a few others. And they also have programs for kids and schools. So. That's kind of really like the down and dirty of what the dance place has to offer. And they are located at 3225 8th Street Northeast in DC. So if you're in the area and you're interested in taking dance classes, definitely check them out. The other great thing about the, the classes that they offer is that they're, it's $17 to just drop in and take a class whenever you want. You don't have to buy a pass. You don't have to do a membership. I think they have those options but it was nice to just be able to find a class to take and not have to kind of pay an arm and a leg mm -hmm. to take the class. Yeah, I think that that one made it made it more enticing to us that we weren't signing away, you know, like it wasn't a three pack or a 10 pack. Mm -hmm. It was just sort of come try it. If you love it, please come back. Um, and if you don't, it was nice seeing you anyway. Um, and I also think like we could have found other places, but our our dates and times were a little limited mm -hmm. as well we kind of yeah. with our biz, busy schedules we're like okay saturday really works the best this coming saturday works really the best so what do we got saturday morning was nice <clears throat> we do something at 9 30 on a saturday it's easy to get in and out of the city they've <laughs> parking you can park yeah street parking uh, is actually was, available was nice <laughs> and then you still have the rest of your day so mm -hmm. being able being done at 11 you know, you you still have time to do the rest of your of your Saturday. So I I really like that they have a lot of options mm -hmm. for like schedules that fit like a, adults with jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was definitely definitely a highlight was being able to kind of drop in there on a Saturday morning and and uh, dance our little booties off, and then you have the rest of the day to recover and nap. <laughs> which was the highlight of my day. <laughs> Got a dance hangover? Guy had a dance hangover, man. Like you I, left it all out there. You left it all I out I felt there. real I rough when I woke up from my nap. Had to recharge. <laughs> it was uh, not good. <laughs> but, um, okay, so like I said, we did take, um, we did do the uh, Beginner's Modern Dance, I believe is what it was, the title of it. And our dance instructor, her name was Carla, and she was amazing. She was, she said she was going on 70 and I could not believe my eyes. I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, she looked amazing. I, was I could saying, not okay. believe it. Yeah. That, those are goals. Yeah, she right was there. so nice. Like she came around at the beginning of she class. She was super and, nice. Like saying hi to people that had been in class before, introduce herself to the three of us since we were like the newbies in class. Yeah, I think and there were maybe like four or five new people total. Yeah, which... yeah. And she was just, she was so welcoming. Like, I think that yeah, was what yeah. I was, because I'd been kind of nervous not knowing, like, how does this work? Are there people who, like, continually come? Like, so that's the other thing that can be hard with a lot of dance classes. Like, I know that's always where I struggle with, like, salsa classes. They happen in a series. So you have to start at the beginning. And if you miss the first class, you're out of luck until the series starts again and so to have a a class where like you can just pop in i was like not knowing how many people would be there would people yeah. be new but like she was so welcoming to everybody you could tell the people she'd clearly known for years yeah. <laughs> and the whole group was really was really welcoming absolutely as it was well. really nice so, yeah yeah and we'll get we'll get into that later to start with though i do want to ask you guys um do you have any experience with dance classes or taking dance besides what we did today 
So me, not so much. And I feel like that kind of showed, um, but we'll get to that. Um, I have taken, um, I did like what, what Portia just, just said, a class series and it was ballroom dancing. I think it was like six or eight weeks long. Oh, wow. Um, that was maybe four years ago and um, definitely way more confident when there's a partner, some, somebody else to count on. Um, so yeah, that was, that was kind of what led to some of the hilariousness today. <laughs> um, so I, as a kid, I was in ballet for several years, um, until just my body dimensions began to make that tricky. Um, cause I got very, very tall, <laughs> yeah. very, very quickly. Um, and then when I was living in Delaware, working in Philadelphia, I became like a crazed ballroom dancer and I was taking like private lessons and group classes so I was dancing like six nights a week for like two years um but I haven't done that in almost gosh it's been eight 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 nine years now since since I took a like a real dance class (laughs) (laughs) what's wrong with your cat (laughs) Julie's cat which we've mentioned before Clementine who's the demon she has uh captured a roll of bubble wrap and brought it to the living room for us to witness um, her proud huntress. Yes, she, like, is, a, she is a yes, proud. She is huntress. a hunter. But, and the thing is, I always pack it away in my closet. But I'm packing for a trip tomorrow, so my closet is wide <laughs> open. And whenever she can, she loves to sneak in there. And like, I, I want to hate it because she's slowly destroying my lovely wrapped bubbles. For you know, for the next time <laughs> I have to send it in a package, but. It's so damn cute to watch this 10 pound, well, maybe 12 pound cat come out (laughs) proudly with this roll of bubble wrap that she thinks is her fresh kill. And she drags it to the living room and then proceeds like to bunny kick it. It's hilarious. Like it's slowly like it was it was was a lovely wrap and now it looks kind of. It's in like shambles. he got murdered by a cat. It's yeah. amazing though. Yeah. Like I, um, so I it makes me very it, happy to watch. But I absolutely <laughs> love it because it's like she's bringing it to us. Is like, hey moms, you know, look, <laughs> look what I've done. Look what I brought you. And then she just sits there and stares at us, and I was like, well, where's my treat? <laughs> I found that monster in your closet again. <laughs> I killed, killed it. it for you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Oh my gosh! So, good girl, um, good girl, Clemmy. If you hear us chuckling or the cat meowing in the background, it's because she is murdering bubble wrap, and yeah. we are enjoying it. A little, a little very, silent rustle of uh, plastic is very much. Yeah, it's quite entertaining. It is. She is. She is that. She's still a little pos occasionally, but <laughs> she she does redeem herself. Oh, uh, she's she's hilarious. Mm-hmm. So, Julie, you said it, Ben. Um, maybe four years for you and Portia, yeah. like eight or nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think, so I took dance from like when I was a wee wee child, you know, like tiny, tiny toddler in a tiny tutu. Please tell me that, that there's pictures somewhere of that. I'm sure my mother has many pictures and also like uh, tapes. Miss tape Coots, recordings. if you're listening to this, <laughs> can you please post those? Mama Coots. <laughs> Mama Coots, please. <laughs> We're going to need those tapes. <laughs> We're gonna need you don't some need those tapes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah, so I took dance from like when I was tiny until I think high school. I can't quite remember. I think I took a break and then picked it up again. So I, I don't know, I probably danced for like ten years or so and it was it was uh tap, jazz, ballet, and lyrical, which I feel like is modern, but I guess I don't know what the difference between the two is, so who knows. And then also a tiny, tiny bit of clogging. Tiny, tiny bit. Yeah. I want, I want to see those tapes as, as yeah. well. Yeah. No, it's not pretty. I've seen girls. I've seen them. God, I hope you have a girl. Did you have a girl? Like the big curly? Um, probably. I don't remember. No, actually, maybe not. Because I think I was in high school at that point and cut all of my hair off. That is the best part. Where, like the girls have to get like the wigs. Yeah, they wear the, the wigs. Because there's no way human we were not. Mm-hmm. We were not that intense. There were like three of us. Oh. You know, tiny, tiny little dance troupe. Love it. But, um... A little dance pod. Yeah. <laughs> a little dance pod. <laughs> troupe. It's a pod. It was... It was not, not very impressive. But, uh... That was the last time I danced. It was probably, I would say, freshman or sophomore year. So it's been, like... Yeah. 
It's probably been I feel close. Like I should know how old you are. I'm 33. More than I do. So if it was so like, if I was like 16, 15, 16. Yeah, it's so been. Yeah, you're you're 18ish years. Yeah. Old as fuck. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> so I've not taken a dance class in a real long time. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't really crossed my mind to take a dance class I ever, dance honestly. Class. So this was my first time taking a dance class as a as a fully grown person. So it sounds like all of us have at some point in our lives taken some type of dance class. Portia and Julie, you both have ballroom, I believe, yes. under your belts, something mm -hmm. I've never done. And Portia salsa. Mm -hmm. Julie, you've not salsa before, I have, have you? Not. Mm -mm. Okay. That's, I mean, I know it's high on the list. Which people, if you are from DC, the DC area, if you know of any places where we can take salsa classes or ballroom, where we don't have to sign up for a series of classes, shoot to me an email, put it in the comments, shoot me a DM, like any of that. Like we wanna know where we can possibly take those classes. If you're like me and you're just getting started with podcasting, it can be scary and overwhelming. That's why Anchor is such a great choice. It's one of the easiest ways to make a podcast and best of all, it's free. It also has great creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. Another great feature of Anchor is that they'll distribute your podcast for you. Your listeners will be able to access your podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many others. You can also make money from your podcast using Anchor, and that's with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place, and it's easy to use. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Once we had determined that we were going to take a modern dance class, like I went through a, like I cycled through some emotions. What were your expectations um, going into the class based on like, the website description, you know, what we knew about it going in? I kind of felt, I mean, knowing a little bit about modern dance, just watching a lot of like old movies and a lot of biographies because hi, I'm a giant nerd. Um, <laughs> so I knew like, a little bit what what to expect but what the class specifically was going to be about um had no idea and i kind of wanted to keep it that way i'm, I'm kind of in for one once i've signed up for something and just know that this is gonna how this is how i'm gonna spend an hour and a half i'm just like all right let the serendipitous journey begin <laughs> so i did zero googling i didn't even know where we were going ali picked me up this morning and um we had the address and off we went, you know? So I knew absolutely nothing, so. Yeah, I've never, I just knew I didn't want to like have to pretend to be a tree <laughs> or something <laughs> like that I knew would uh, make me struggle. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't really look it up until like you texted us on <laughs> Friday and you were like, I think this is like the jail, like these are hardcore dancers, I'm nervous. And I had not really researched the place other than looking up the schedule and kind of the description d didn't really tell me what to expect, which mm -hmm. was probably for the best. And so then I was like, well, it's too late. I've already paid, so I'm going. And so I really then just Googled what to wear, mainly in terms of could I do it in socks mm -hmm. or did I need some other like special footwear? Because um, that was always an issue. Like if you're doing things like ballroom and, and salsa, like the shoes matter. Yeah. Um, so once I knew it was like, wear something comfortable, but not baggy and you can be barefoot or in socks. I was like, all right, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah. So the first time I've made an absolute fool of myself. Um, and I was kind of with Julie, I can do anything for an hour and a half. Yeah. So I was expecting just to be like very like loose. Yeah. So there'd be a lot of like arm waving. There wasn't. There was there, no. which I was so just about. because again, my go to no. move is like mm -hmm. the inflatable man, like blowy Outside a car wash. Yeah. yeah. And like, I was fully prepared to do that because it's what I do well. And in typical alley fashion, because I was nervous about going, I did do some research and some Googling, which is why I texted you both. And I was <laughs> like, bro, this looks like a legit place with like legit dancers 
we might be getting ourselves into yeah. something more than what we signed up for. Well, but I feel like it, this is this was a community space. No one there, I felt, was going to see me and be like, you are destined for Broadway. I feel like that ship has long since sailed. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be discovered. Yeah, so I, I just <laughs> knew like, I was just going to go <laughs> and have some fun. And if I made an ass of myself... Chances are, living in a big city, I might not run into anybody there again. Well, I've been to, like, well, the ones that I haven't gone to, but I've had friends who've done, like, drop-in, like, classes. Like, my friends lived in New York. Um, I have a, you know, my former stepsister was a professional ballerina, and so, Ooh. you know, it really is kind of like in the movie Center Stage. Like, you drop into the class, and it's professional dancers mm -hmm. and that's just the thing they're doing for fun and so like if you like you have to know the terminology and the language and I was like well it says it's a beginner class yeah, yeah. so I'm hoping that men you know you didn't actually necessarily know like have to know like right off the top of your head like your alabaster your arabesque turns versus like yeah <laughs> your right. relevance and and things like that but yeah yeah I think I had like a different vision in my mind I don't know because like what did you think was going to happen? I, I was expecting it to be, um, or in my mind, I was picturing like a very like goofy kind of like, we have, woo, we're having some fun kind of class. Not saying, not saying that it wasn't. Like a 10 year old ballet class. We like, kind of like, I don't up know. And kind of mimicking I don't the know. Arm the teacher. Yeah. Like, I didn't know what kind of structure. Or it was I think it was like, uh, or maybe I was thinking more of like a, like a dance for fitness class, you know, where they're a little like looser maybe in their structure. I think that's what I had in my mind. Was like modern dance version of Zumba? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They throw on some sick beats and you're just like, do you I, had like I had like a, a vision in my mind and then I looked at the website and I was like, oh shit. Like, we're, there are going to be people there that take this very seriously. And I like to hide my insecurities with humor. So I was like, I can't go in there and act you know be not take it seriously because yeah. this is something you know there are people in here who take it very seriously which is awesome so I really had to kind of like buckle up and focus and be serious when I got in there and that was something that I was not expecting well so when you see people like start to come in like because we got there pretty early mm -hmm. so when you first walked in it's like okay so like a dude you know like a normal like middle-aged slightly round man that made me feel like better mm -hmm. um you know you see some people who are like older and then you see people start to like limber up and like people are yeah, like the going stretching. Their stretching routines and you're like oh that lady just pulled her like leg over her head <laughs> all of those chicks have like a legit like dancer's bunion what have we done like yeah. these people know what they are doing they are not like i'm on lock and me and my friends are gonna go take a dance class on Saturday. No. i got like <laughs> i got more nervous like the I think my nerve exactly the more when I sat down I started watching everyone stretch I was like oh 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 okay <laughs> I was like we're in for a we're in for like a real fucking dance class yeah I was a little nervous when I saw how many people were there it was um the the leader Car Carla said said that there was about 25 mm -hmm. today and I guess, like, I thought there would be more like 10 or 15. Same. But at the same time, for a community space, I was, like, really kind of excited to see that so many people turned out for yeah. this, like, class. You she know? did yeah. say that's about as crowded as you'll, mm -hmm. as you'll see it. But, yeah. She but, also said 50 people could fit in that space. And I was like, uh. uh yeah, I was like. Uh. I could say 50 people who all know what they're doing. Like, very experienced dancers. No flailing. Yeah, right? I was going like, to say we were no flailing. flailing. In, like, the back row. <laughs> kind of like so unsure of like turning left turning right and i was like oh fuck this like yeah. 50 of me would not would have started a fire 50 of you would have like injured people right i'm like ambulances would have been called and not have been well. then i heard the most like terrifying words that you can ever be said to in a dance class Portia, move forward yeah no ma'am i was like Ooh. No, i was like Portia's getting called to the front i may or may not have kept a nice lady in front of me with my foot at one point during like the ground we're doing our floor work oh, yeah. we're on the ground there's a lot of like swinging your leg around yeah and luckily it was her hand not her lovely ponytail that i had but i was like i'm i was terrified about kicking someone yeah. on the ground yeah because you were kind of just in front of me poor portion there was a part of the leg work that i'm like is Portia smelling my foot at this current <laughs> moment? You know, and then I hit the lady on my right side and I apologized, but she said nothing back. And at first I was like, okay, 
is she being rude? But then I was like, no, I think it's modern modern dance yeah. and like touching just is okay. Yeah, it's like, fine. Yeah. You know, so it, I I don't know. Like again, like, <laughs> it was lovely to see how many people yeah. turned out and how nice they all were, especially because I think so many of them have been coming for years. I would say the age range was amazing. There that were people. Absolutely. There were people that were like our age, like thirties. And then there were people who, I think there were a couple of folks that were probably younger than us, yeah. but then there were people that were like well into their 70s. 70s. Yeah. Like the one lady we talked to, she said she'd been taking classes there for 30 plus years. Yeah. She also got into the coolest car. Did she? Like I she didn't has even see like it. This old school, like vintage Volkswagen that looks like the tiny little sports car one. Oh, the, the Carmen Ghia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it was yeah. green, and I was like, oh, you were a what a badass. Really cool. Nice. Really cool. I just liked when she was like, oh, Portia, like Ellen's wife. I was like, like yes. And it's like, oh, what a strong Shakespearean character. I was like, yes, <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Good Port- Port- thank Portia's you. mom is very happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's strong every day. It was pretty great. But speaking of terrifying things that happen in class, mm-hmm. you know, because we're all like flailing limbs, and I definitely, definitely farted on the two of them. <laughs> <laughs> you crap dusted us. Damn it, Portia. Because, like, you know, there's a lot of, like, <laughs> Like the whole time, like as soon as it started, I was like, "Oh no, it's gonna happen." I'm sure hot. everyone does. <laughs> then it happened, and I'm like, "Well, glad it's them behind me. Just, just keep going through the motions. They haven't said anything, so <laughs> couldn't even, didn't, didn't, even know. Know. didn't even know, didn't even didn't know, didn't even know. I was, oh, I God. was too surrounded in my own smell of fear. Same. So it was, it was completely fine. It's just like it was, I was trying to breathe. <laughs> Because she kept saying breathe, and I was like, I can't. I'm so I was like, focused, I, I was like, like I can't. Breathing. I'm just trying to, like, yoga breathe. <laughs> but, the uh, whole thing. So the class was made up of different sections. So we had, like, the groundwork, which was what we started with, which was a lot of, like, stretching and rolling around and fan kicks and... and Loosen it up. Yeah, so like 20 minutes yoga moves, wagging your tail, that type of stuff. The floor work, well, that's the, kind of, that's the same with the groundwork, like, right? there was, like, the standing. There was, like, floor work. Then we had, like, yeah, the standing yeah. kind of, root, like, warm-up routine. So she said those are the parts that are the same every class. Yeah, which and I don't remember it, we went any into of the those. actual, like, choreo. Yeah, and so we did the, the groundwork. Work, the the stretching and then we did a round of choreo which the story behind the choreography I was on board with 100% because she was like coming back from vacation so it was like I'm on vacation I'm feeling good but I'm like a little nervous about coming home and then I get home and it was like pushing off like the bills <laughs> and the traffic the bills. and just like shaking it all off so I was like I can vibe with this like I'm on board with this so we did a little bit of choreo and then we did uh, improv, which was honestly what I was the most scared about was doing like freestyle improv, just like grooving on your own. Uh, yeah, that that say, scared like, me. She kept yelling from like the front of the room. She's like, no one's looking at you. Do what you want. No one's caring. Can continue on. Like, and so it was just, it was so freeing. And so like, yeah. I felt that was my second favorite part mm. of the class cuz cuz I got to spin and I had like a little bit of confidence and you know I got to carve out a little little bit of space and it was just it was absolutely fun and and completely freeing i did like the improv part cuz like because yeah everybody was kind of moving around just kind of mm-hmm. doing their thing and it really yeah. i was really worried we were going to have to be like free forming in like groups where people yeah. were watching you but it yeah everybody's doing their thing yeah everybody looks hilarious and loose <laughs> and clearly they're, like, they're not paying attention to you yeah. like no one's watching you it's no. just like yeah it's just kind of nice just like you got to do like your flappy way we are man and the, the car dealership blow up thing and yeah nobody would have minded I, yeah i i really enjoyed that part and then like the partner so that was I would my say part. the partner was my favorite part as well even though yeah. i was confused for 99 percent of it and so as soon as she said like find, find find a partner like i instantly started sweating because i thought it was going to be more of the group and they're going to watch me while i dance and it's going to be a lot of judgment but instead, like, it turned out to be the most fun part for me because, yeah. again, part, partner dancing is where I feel confident and comfortable. And the lady that I partnered with, I believe her name was Erica. I hope that was her name. Anyway, um, but we'll go with that. Um, she <laughs> was so warm and welcoming and, like, a very strong partner. Like, helped bolster me while also kind of explaining what was going on. So, you know, we had to do all these kind of like contra dance uh, kind of kind of mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. a do-si-do. Like, yeah. like slide to the right, slide to the left. I had the hardest time. 
uh, with the do si which is hilarious because it's like Nebraska. Nebraska. <laughs> but she was like, no, you go forward, you back up, you go forward, you back up. And I'm like, am I spinning? Are we going back to back? Are our hands I'm meeting? I'm like, Cowboy what is happening right now? Sure, yeah. I had a real hard time with it. My partner, uh, <laughs> she was just like, Ugh. <laughs> you do you. Just do what you need. Because I, you know, I like to lead. <laughs> I was like, I'm a lead. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to lead. But it even started out very non-contra dancer, but very mod- the modern The shadowing dance. your partner. That was yeah. cool. So for like that was three cool. or four beats, you, you, know you what moved to do with independently that. From, one, from one another. And then for the next three or four beats... You had to mirror, you sort like of, flow with them. Yes, and so like if one person went to the ground, then you had to sort of air hug them, or if they stood up, then you would sort of arabesque around them. Some somehow like supporting them, moving with them, doing all of the you know just you know, <laughs> you know, they hold their hand talk around the face. You know, it's fine. It's fine. That was super fun though. I yeah. liked that part, and I like strategically like locked in on my partner. Amber, she used to have been the substitute teacher. So I was like, oh, oh good. She knows what she's doing. Nice. Hi. Well Very done. small woman. So therefore, it was hard <laughs> to kind of mirror her. Because I didn't understand kind of the mirroring part. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm supposed to try to do what you do. You're very low to the ground. Yeah. She I don't, was really nice. She was very, very sweet helping me get get through it. I don't think I did the mirroring part right. I don't I think I did any it of it right. right. before we ended it. But I didn't. I didn't know. That's, That's okay, kind of though. Like but everyone was really nice about it. <laughs> Everybody was nice about it. And I don't know that there was, until we got to the choreographed part, I don't know that there was truly anything wrong. Like, yeah. No. I don't think you could do it. anything wrong. the choreographed part, I feel like. Eh, it was like, As eh. long as you were in the general neighborhood. Yeah. I feel like I was the next town over. But, um, you, <laughs> you know. Didn't fall. I did you not fall. fall. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was. You it stayed was, upright. It was an experience. I think another thing I liked about the, um. The group work was like when we all held hands, we came in the circle, and she was like, Welcome to our family. And I was like, Oh. And, like, and then we went out. On the back. Yeah, and then we came back in, and she was like, Welcome to our tribe. And I was like, Oh. Don't yeah. cry, don't cry. Like, it was, it was, it, it was, was very, it was very nice. Yeah. Very, like, I was warm. like, Oh. Like, it was very much, I think, a great, like, we're all in this together before it we went into kind of like yeah. the more difficult person of class. Yeah, like the real reach out, patch from the back, and like the whole walk around the circle. And, like, yeah, and like clap at people, <laughs> and like, like the walking around, like looking people in the eye and like clapping like I was like oh okay <laughs> like it was fine I made a lot of eye contact which is awkward for me but did it and so that was like the group work was definitely yeah. like the highlight yeah. I feel so like I think it was a good way to like actually get to meet people but in a mm-hmm. very non-threatening like it is the preferred meeting people method of your average introvert yes, yes. um I was like <laughs> I like this yeah yeah you don't have to actually hold a conversation yeah, with anyone that's right. the, I was like I am what I like to refer to as an antisocial extrovert so this is my jam. Like we can be the extroverted same place. introvert. We can like you know, like making eye contact, be cool, but I don't have to talk to you. I don't. I'm a, yeah, yeah. I'm the same way. We I was can like... be in the same like area, meeting each other, but with you know, still safely in my in my bumper bubble. <laughs> so once we got through with the group work, we did like the last bit of the choreography, and then did I guess it's called like moving across the floor, which was the hardest part for me. I didn't think it would be because it was literally like, it was literally like walk and clap on beat. And I was like, I don't think I can do both of those things at the same time. (laughs) Well, and then I got like the worst note from the the instructor that (laughs) a girl who walks fast naturally can ever get. Was it slow down? No, she was like, take smaller (laughs) steps. Take smaller steps. I was like, Julie has, her legs are too long. She can't take small steps. Yes, she can. I walk with purpose. (laughs) It cracks me up though, because I'm always, anytime we go anywhere, I'm like, Julie, walk slower. I can't keep up with you. Oh my god! So when she said that, I was like, yes. Yeah, it was, it was the Savor hardest. Savor the moment, Weiss Gerber, oh the floor God. ain't that big. I know. <laughs> you like, gotta get across it too fast. Well, and then it was. And run over the poor person It's like three you. steps and you're across the mat. Julie ran down an old woman <laughs> trying to get across I the floor. I did not. I was following behind a very slow man that was even more confused than I was. <laughs> so, like. Yeah, it was you lumbering up behind him. He's <laughs> like, scared to get this. And he was like, free train Julie's about to knock me down. What am I get the hell across the floor? I can't clap, I'm afraid. Well, and like, we're supposed to go, like, they set us 
up in like groups of four. And so like I'm following the lady to my left because she clearly knew what she was doing because she had already pulled me aside and gave me the note that on on the first side, we, we lead with our right. And then on the return trip, we lead with our left. And so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to walk with her. And she was move, moving her ass. So I was just trying to keep <laughs> up with her. So it was it was hilarious and uh, yeah it, it was, was hard though the simplest of things that we could not get right and then the very the very end where um, it was it was something step, that step lift, could not do it lift, could not do it there were four steps could between not the lift, do and it I only wanted to do two and so I kept trying to like ha huh, I couldn't do I was it skipping oh, at one point couldn't do oh, it yeah. <laughs> but there there was one there was one trip across where she's like now for the advanced people <laughs> do a spin yeah and so like all of us newbies there were like six of us that just like held no. back we didn't go at all go at all like, you and don't she... have to spin yeah. but you have to go yeah. we were like nah we'll it wait like a whole crowd like, it was kind of crowded out there we so just hung back we'll i didn't know if we were going still in waves we're but sure. i was like oh we were all okay we're yeah all moving. i don't know herd. It's a herd movement. But, like the guy behind me uh, who I talked to at the end of the, he, he was like, yeah, I've been taking these classes for like four months or whatever. And he's like, it's, this is the first class where I've actually done the move across the floor part right. And I was like, four months. Okay, good. So I don't feel so bad about not being, because it's like the simplest thing. You're literally taking four like, months to walk you're taking two, sh- two steps, one direction and oh. a kick Two, one step the other direction it's and the kick. Counts. But it's, it, I could not get I it. I could not get I it. the most difficult is... I know, like, she gave us the counts. We knew what, like, you know, that there were, like, th- what was happening on the two and, like, things like that. But I'm so used to doing, like, this was very much more almost similar to, like, a, a ballet where, like, you just mm-hmm. kind of know the choreo. You, you know the choreo and you know kind of where it sometimes fits to your music. But yeah. with this, like, I'm so used to doing, like, ballroom and, like, salsa where it is very heavily counted like you know everything you're doing based on the counts like mm-hmm. i like i can waltz for hours with no music i mean you just count your way through it with this it was very much more free flowing and you're not so like regimented yeah. to the count and so right. i think in some ways it was kind of nice i think it let you kind of loosen up a little bit but for things like getting across the floor those extra two steps because i didn't know like, i couldn't get it how to count my <laughs> way through that i kept trying to like skip a couple of steps and then I couldn't I was like uh, just tell me what the count is <laughs> dude I clapped off beat multiple times while I was literally just walking across the floor and I was like what the fuck is wrong with me like yeah. I know how to count I know what the beat is but I literally was clapped because for some reason I was like it's difficult for me to walk across the floor and clap my hands on Alex beat. Alex like a wind-up symbol. Like, yeah, it's like it was terrible. The well, it was like, do you want the movements for me or do you want the counts? You're not getting, getting both. Like, you are just going to have to pick one today and we're, we're just going to have to hope for I was best. nailing it until I had to get the <laughs> kick. Because I just, because it was like two fast steps, two slow steps, kick, kick, kick. And I was like, no, there will only be two foot so steps and a kick and a kick these little fast steps are not happening yeah i was like i couldn't move my feet and i kept kind of like hopping so at one point i'm just like skipping i just stopped at one point and just started walking across the mat and like kind of throwing a foot up every now and then i was like whatever (laughs) like i'm trying i'm honestly trying but like i cannot do it i was having a seizure like it was just terrible i was like i'm not graceful the last part was literally the hardest part i just want to point out to everybody listening in that portia was complimented a couple of times Mm -hmm. Allie was asked in front of the entire class whether or not she had danced before (laughs) the teacher said none of that to me (laughs) but you also weren't the poor guy i was gonna say the guy like like, himself forward (laughs) but she did say like for all the new people she does like carla's amazing and at the end she like takes like she meets with you in the lobby don't yes. like see if you were having anything you were struggling with. I, was like, I can't turn to my left, and she like broke it down, and yeah. she's helping us with like our posture and like curling in on the seat. Absolutely, yeah, she like, could not to... have been more giving if yeah. she, if she yeah. tried. Like, she truly was really, amazing. Yeah, really I awesome. I very much hope that she is paid very very well for putting up with me in class. <laughs> she's a good human. <laughs> yeah, she is. She is. Human. She was a great teacher too. It was like yeah, yeah. It was just like um, even the way she taught the choreo, like it was very fast because it was just an hour and a half and i'd say the first 30 minutes or so was spent on like 
the stretching yeah, kind getting, of yeah. and then you in. learn an entire routine yeah. in like probably like 30 to 40 minutes yeah, maybe it was quick but she taught it so in a way where you could like yeah and I mean, so it takes me a long time to learn choreo. Like that's, I struggle with it a lot, but I felt like I got most of it. Well, and that was the thing. I, I, I likened her to, to a certain extent, to like a contra dance collar or a square dance collar. Because a lot of the time, especially I did the best in the choreographed parts while she was like explaining the dance and you've got your bills coming back. From yeah, me. yeah. And then like, I was like, okay, I'm into this. I got it's this, joy. I got it's this. Joy. Free it into the right. And then as yeah. soon as she like <laughs> silenced and like just started, you know, like hoping that we would pick it up. I was like, wait, 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 is this bill time? Is this vacation time? I'm lost already. <laughs> See, I liked Am I shaking off the word? Yeah, I was like, okay. I got it because so I was like, I'm finding my joy. I'm finding my joy. I'm finding my joy. I spin it out and then I'm free to the right, free to the left. And then, like, you know, I was, like, do a little kung fu routine. Yes. Like, yeah. And so I was, like, because the way she, like, did it, like, that was the one place where, like, oh, it not having to be always so count-driven. Yeah. The storyline behind the routine was what helped you remember what the routine was. And I was, like, that's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> none of this was going on in my brain. Like, my brain was blank most of the time. <laughs> Probably terror. from, ter terror. but it was, I was like, okay, if I'm facing forward, I can follow this person. If I'm to the left, I can follow this person. If I'm to the right, it's Julie. Look past Julie to the Never look past, past never look at me. Always look, look past, past <laughs> Julie. And P.S., ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there was nobody past me. It, I was I was the very back of class. So when we turned around, when I turned out to be the front of class, which horrified, I think, everybody. Like, so, me too, though. I was like, was oh my God, we're at the front. There was and windows. <laughs> That's like when you're like that horrible person who winds up like you start at the back when someone's doing like some sort of organized club dance. You're like, oh, I don't know the Cupid Shovel. I'll be in the yeah. back. Like, no, there's turning. <laughs> I'm the front. Yeah. I felt that way during the, the beginning, like the stretching part too, when she was like, when she came up next to, between us and she was like, downward dog. And I was like, oh my God, we're oh. at the front of the class Oof. now. <laughs> I was so glad it was yoga poses. I was wow. like, oh, praise Jesus, I've been doing yoga every day. I was like, okay, no. I can do this. This is down dog. I can do down dog. I was, but see, oh, like, okay. I felt that way oh, when okay. we were doing like the, the knee, the leg stuff. Like yeah. the, because I do that stuff in my home <laughs> when I'm when I'm working at my standing desk, I'll do a lot of like ballet stuff mm -hmm. just to like keep myself entertained while I work. So I was like, oh, I can do this. I can do this because I, you know, I don't know, I'm weird. So I loved that stuff. But like literally, when she left and they broke us up into the two groups, mm -hmm. and it was like oh. you know, like center stage. That was and then, the worst. And then when she was Terrifying. not out there with us, and there was like, thank yeah, God. I was like, like who do I follow? Someone at the front of this room knows what they're doing. Yeah, like group one had that one lady. Like she was solid. Yeah. My group, group two, we were like, we're just gonna go for it. We don't have a designated <laughs> leader. We're just gonna throw our joy and pray. Yeah. <laughs> I like, dude. It was. Uh, I definitely stepped on someone. <laughs> <laughs> I stepped on the really nice lady next to me who was really, really good. But I was like, we were, I was just like, whoop, whoop. like I, I, I followed I her because she was right in front of me, I yeah, think. And I followed her. Me, so she was constantly who I was after. And I felt real bad. I was like, ooh, you're with me in group two. And we had to kind of walk in the circle, like mm -hmm. getting ready to start mm -hmm. the, the choreographed part. Like I just kept not going in the same type of circle everyone else was. And <laughs> I slapped that poor woman <laughs> more times. Just like, I was like, I am so sorry. <laughs> like, all I could think was that scene in, like, Dirty Dancing where he's like, your dance space? <laughs> my dance space. Yes. And, and you're like, like, no, but no. Every I dance space is mine. in your dance space. <laughs> I don't think I did the dance the same way twice. Especially oh, definitely. in the... Get better? In, no. In the beginning part where we had... To, we, it was like a full, like... Was it 16 counts to turn in a circle? Yes. Like, walk, walk, pause. And, like, walk, honestly, walk, walk, like, pause. Pose. I had, like... Walk, walk, moment. Julie and... Andrew, Sound of Music, the very beginning, like, the hills are alive kind of thing. <laughs> and, like, everybody was using the same arm, and I was like, no, I'm going to use both. Like, and just sort of <laughs> weave my arms across the damn Alps, you know? Dude, like, I was just I trying to... I think that was the point, out. right? You were I, supposed to, like, find your moment in the silence, and I, I was, was just standing there looking terrified, yeah. and then... I was, I was just was trying like, to walk on beat... <laughs> I was like, when's the pause? After how many steps? Ah. Well, so oh, like, uh, I guess it took me a while to realize other people were like actually like moving. Yeah. I was just kind of spinning in place. <laughs> I just did a big <laughs> Which circle. Which is why I kept slapping people because everyone else is moving. And I'm just spinning like a broken like jewelry box ballerina. <laughs> And like that got stopped mid crank. I was like, I'm just gonna walk in a big circle and end up exactly where I was before because it's what I know. 
I know who's around me and I can look where I want to look. But like, I couldn't even walk. I was like, how? One, two, three, pause. One, two, pause. One, five, pause. What? So I never, I never paused on the right beat. Like, oh I God. seriously have no, I just couldn't, I, I wasn't count. traveling far enough. No. Like everyone else is like coming to me and I'm like, we're moving. Oh my no, God. move around me. I am the boulder. You are the river. <laughs> there was the one, the one move uh in the so there were a couple moves in the choreography that uh, were my fa- the thriller move that's a, that's what i called yes, it it was that like the was, knee like, i was like thriller move uh cr- <laughs> like i was like I karate move, move yeah like my face. Uh, stop uh, don't fuck with me hand down like it was like a karate chop at least that's how i made it but like i was like i'm doing the advanced move i'm kicking the foot yeah like i was like advanced dancers I, I started to do the advanced stuff and then like I felt like she called me out on it she probably didn't but she was like new people don't do this and I was like oh well, some of that like that was I think like, oh. a, like there was like a much bigger like a releve with a kicky yeah, thing yeah. but like I think for like the karate chop moves I was like I'm gonna kick my foot cause uh-huh. I'm advanced I can lift my leg You're like I got this shit <laughs> cause I was like I feel like I need to cause I think the lifting helped me like know where I was supposed yeah. to be yeah I was so I was like, I want to do it. It feels right, so I'm going to do it. I feel like she was very much a, if it feels good, do what you want. Yeah. If you try it and it feels bad, don't do that. (laughs) Yeah. For the listeners, I am going to try to convince Portia and and Julie or either myself and one of them, uh, we are hopefully going to do the dance and record it so that you can see a video of it on our social media. I, I've i not convinced them yet. Because we have to remember but, it like someone's going to get hit in the face. Dude, I practiced totally. when I got home. Do we have enough floor space? Yeah, <laughs> I think we do. We can move this. We'll okay. make it work. Right. I, I, maybe just like just the right side because I can't go to the left. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't find my freedom to the left. I can't. My left side is like, mm-hmm. nah, girl. <laughs> you, can't, you can't count on the right. The left side is even worse. Nah, girl. Like, you got Andy freedom. Like, no. Nah. Like, I can't yeah. do it. So maybe we'll just do the right side. I, like Zoolander, am not an Andy turner. <laughs> I cannot turn to the left in any I way. I can only find my freedom on the right, on my dominant side. <laughs> you are a UPS driver. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it's like the bike signal. I was like, you're wrong, hand. Whatever. Whatever. Just, it's the same yeah, motion. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Hand up, hand down, karate chop, bring it both in, arm, arm out, spin, thriller. I literally was just like, my mind was blank. I think it was from fear. Like, most of the time, I was just like, oh, please, Jesus, like, help me. <laughs> like, but I spent, like, most of that time in that class, like, I do, like, whenever I'm yo- in yoga or, like, you know, any sort of, like, Zuma type class where I spend the first. 45 minutes just thinking please dear god don't let me fart <laughs> <laughs> and then you farted on us i was but worried about it too because like, it happens like in yoga like that's uh, also why like so i'm like I'm, I'm all lit like weirdly not controlled well limbs mm-hmm. and so like with mike whenever i do yoga my sister is quite petite like she's barely five foot three so i am almost a foot taller than my <laughs> sister and so she always has to strategically place herself in, like, the danger zone because I need more space than is allotted. And so she usually has to be where – because someone is going to have a foot on the side of their face and mm-hmm. prefer it be my big sister. But that also puts her in the danger zone where she's like, I swear to God, if we do a triangle pose and you <laughs> fart on me, <laughs> I will end you. And I'm like – I'm 80% sure it's gonna happen. <laughs> There's no way one twists their torso that many times. And then, yeah, so all through this, like, modern dance class, I was like, there's a lot of jumping. There's yeah. a lot of, like, down plies. and twisting and playing. And I'm like, this is just a catastrophe waiting to happen. Thank God there's drumming. So Yeah, the drumming. Alan was like, yeah, if you sit on the floor and fart, it's going to reverberate off this rubber floor yeah. and everyone's going to hear you. So then that just had me completely crippled. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Allie. Well, I was just crippled. looking out. I was looking out for you, all right? For you, though. <laughs> Silent is better than reverbing off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we did have a drummer. So the music for the class was a yeah. man on the bongo ju- drums. What was his name? Sam, maybe? Stan? Stan? Something with an S. But yeah, he was killing Real it on talented. the drums, yeah. man. Yeah. It was great. I love that beat. Like, I was wondering, like, what kind of music yeah. you have. I, 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 I really liked the drums. I was not expecting that. Yeah. Yeah. No. We first walked in, we tried to put our stuff down. They're like, don't put your stuff there. That's what the drummer says. And, and I, was I was like, like the what? drummer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, that, I went through that because I was like, oh, maybe it'll be like 
I don't know, some like alternative indie music, yeah, like I soft it was just vibe. Be like a boom box. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah so no, I was very, I was very into the drummer. Mm-hmm. So we've kind of covered the class and what our favorite parts of the class were. What was the, what was, well, I think we also covered this kind of like, what was the hardest part of the class? Like it was, it was probably that last part of walking, clapping and skipping. That was really the difficult part. Yeah. 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 So I was like, I have no, I don't know how to count this. I don't know what I'm doing. I I, I was running into people. Like (laughs) people were all over the place. Even (laughs) people around you, like you'd get to the end and I was expecting everyone to kind of like, okay, go to the right and file back no. the lines. The person in front of me kept like coming into my path. So I was like, <laughs> ma'am, everyone else is just like to their right getting back in the line because there's traffic coming. Mm-hmm. You are refusing to do that. And so I therefore have no choice but to run into you. I am significantly larger I'm coming and have for, a little I'm bit of momentum going right now. This is going to end in injury. Yeah, I, I did bond with the, the gentleman that was having a, a harder time in the class during that part of the, the, the moving across the floor. Like every time, because he was in my group, mm-hmm. and every time we like circled around to go back the other way, we'd make eye contact and we were both just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> we were both just like, neither of us are doing this right. We're sorry. Like you could just see it in our faces. We were like, fuck, we're not doing any of this right. <laughs> So it was definitely, like, the hardest part, I think. As long as you have people with you. And that's what partly made me feel better was, like, when she, like, had the, like, advanced dancers do the spin, the non-advanced just do as normal, and we we look, and there's, like, ten of us just frozen on one side of the room. Like, you know what? We are not alone. (laughs) We are all in this together. Absolutely. (laughs) That was very funny. She was like, what just happened? (laughs) We're like, Carla, you gotta be more specific, okay? all of you just (laughs) standing there? Uh, so would you go back and take another modern dance class sure absolutely yeah 100 percent. i very much want to go back and do it again now that i've got it like out of my system the first time out of my system i would i think i would definitely go back and and hopefully count and do better i was was legitimately (laughs) surprised by how much fun Mm -hmm. it was and i think yeah and everyone being so nice and so welcoming and it makes a huge difference it was a lot of fun what other um, dance classes would you want to try? I wouldn't mind going back to a more traditional um, ballroom or salsa, partner dancing, any kind of, of partner dancing. I really enjoy um, any kind of 10 week kind of, you know, this is what you're doing on Tuesday nights, you know, kind of kind of deal, which is what I had when I was living in Seattle. Because it kind of, you, you got to, you know, the, the panic stricken that you are on week week one, you build from that. And by the end, again, I'm not going to be Ginger Rogers, um, but at least, you know, I'm not scary anymore. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I would definitely, I would definitely do do that again. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I, th- I really enjoyed the minor dance part because it was nice to not have to be, have the stress of needing a partner. Um, but I, I really do want to do like salsa and ballroom again. So then I like being able to do lessons and classes, but then also have go to social dances mm-hmm. where folks know how to, um, like you go to like, you know, for that particular type of dance. And so you can go to a social dance. You can actually like get to dance with other partners and you're less afraid to know what you're doing. Or even like, you know, once you know how to like foxtrot, you can two step so you can, yep take that anywhere um and i've also been interested in like trying like swing dancing mm-hmm. oh yeah i would love going to, to like swing some dancing. social some social dancing for swing dancing absolutely so ali when we go out um to a bar <laughs> she always like picks me to swing dance with <laughs> and i feel super duper bad for her because oh. i don't have the the knowledge of what i'm supposed to be doing so i can like 
twirl, but even that, I feel like I'm not really doing to your, I have like, to your level. I have, like, the, I have a, I, I'm not that great, of, I don't know, I don't have a lot of ex- experience swing, da- I grew up, like, country dancing, mm-hmm. like the pretzels, what we called it back in the day, uh, but I've lost a lot of it because I don't use it a lot unless julia and i are going out yeah it's it's some it's dangerous <laughs> it is dangerous who's been near them when it happens you, you have to clear a space it's best to just i usually hover looking it's one of those moments in an evening where you decide it's best to look like you're there alone <laughs> and pathetic yeah um it's, it's, a, it's always the highlight of mine i love main. i love doing the swing dance so maybe that's what we need. To I just find need to next. learn how to do it better. Yeah, I, have, swing, yeah, swing I have friends dancing. in Denver who are like hardcore, like awesome, mm. right? like swing dancers, and they can do like the Lindy Hop, which is yeah. really hard. But it's so fun to watch. I, yeah. I would it find, is amazing. Uh, trying it. Yeah, there's a there's a place in Baltimore. Uh, Fred, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, knows a place in Baltimore that does like swing dancing. They do lessons and like social dances. Really? Yeah, he is apparently quite good. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, so maybe we'll have to do swing dancing. Yeah. I do. Like, I worry about anything that requires a solid count because I, as I found out today, I cannot count uh, and move at the same time. So, uh, I just you know, see you have to partner dance because I you don't do it well because I want to be. In, I want to be. In, to I want to lead. But I want to lead. I, I like the era that we're living in because you know traditionally the men st- stand on the inside circle and the women are on the outside circle. But I think we we've, we've reached a point in time where it's like, no, I want to be a lead. I'm gonna stand on the inside. I'll wear a circle. fucking suit. Like put I mean, me, like, put me in that this, inside circle, man. Like, I'll do I, it. I don't care if you're in heels and a beautiful dress. Like if you want to lead, stand in the inside circle. I want to lead so bad. That's why I had yeah, problems but, today in the car, in the partner group because I was like, I'm leading. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm gonna lead. <laughs> That's gonna be the problem. We're gonna have you have to actually accept being taught. I know. I know. Because as the leader, you uh, like, you've got the hard you part. Have to, I love being the follower because that's like the the fun part. Yeah. I was like, I get to do all it's the like cool a, stuff. It's a battle for me. It's like because uh, yeah, it's. Once that, I learned yeah. to be led, I became quite good at it because that like when I was doing like salsa and ballroom, I would always be paired with people who were mm. new to leading, and I just wouldn't move. Like I would just be standing there as. You know, and uh, my instructor, Tim, who I also did my private lessons with, like, you know, we'd be taking some more kind of like, con- like difficult classes. So there's only be like four of four to six of us. Mm-hmm. And the other kid I was dancing with would be like, she's not moving. And Tim's like, have you told her to move? <laughs> He's like, hey, man, you got to steer the boat. Like, the- she's like, the ship can't move if the rudder's kind of hanging out. So like, move her and she'll move. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm not moving. <laughs> Tell me where to go. I was like, dude, I'm backwards. Like, I don't know what's happening. Yeah. I can't see behind me. Like, you have to tell me where to go and tell me well, or I'm going to just stop <laughs> and yeah. stand here in the center of the floor. <laughs> Final thoughts on modern dance class at the dance place. I would just say I just want to apologize to Martha Graham, who I think is rolling over in her grave. Uh, so, um, Hopefully, uh, when we go back, I can build on what uh, I learned today, and hopefully, I'll do better. <laughs> I really want to go back and try again. Like, I didn't know what to expect. I was a little bit freaked out. Mm. I liked it far more than I thought I would, so I'm I'm definitely interested in continuing to try. Yeah. Only beginner. Like, I'm going to be a beginner modern dancer for the rest of my Forever life. Forever and ever. Yeah. yeah, I'm the same. I know now that I'm not allowed to chew gum in class, so I'll take that to the next one. <laughs> Because it's a, a choking hazard. Yeah, I apologize. You legit choke to death. But now I know. I know that gum is no longer allowed. I have an, I have an idea of what the class is. So I'm, I'm definitely interested in going to more modern dance classes and also potentially other ones. Absolutely. So I'm looking forward to mm-hmm. trying some partnering classes and seeing how that works out for me where I will also not chew gum. So I want to thank Portia and Julie for being on the podcast. Thank you both very much. And thank you for coming with me on this modern dance extravaganza. It was wonderful. It might become our new Saturday morning thing. It was, uh, it was great. I would not have gone otherwise if you had not come with me. So thank you very much for uh, going on this adventure with me. You're welcome. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have done it either. I'm glad we did. <laughs> yep. It was a good decision. Great. Anytime. There you have it. 
Thanks, as always, for listening to this week's episode. Be sure to tune in for the next one. And if you are looking for some entertainment or you're bored, I highly recommend going back and listening to some of our previous episodes. You can follow the Fun With Friends podcast on Instagram at Fun With Friends Podcast. You can follow us on Twitter at Fun Friends Pod One. We are also on Facebook. You can listen to the podcast on Anchor FM, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. As always, please like, rate, and review, and be sure to tell your friends about the podcast and get the word out there about it. And as always, my friends, go out there, try something new, and have some fucking fun. Bye.